Why is it right that a man should continue paying maintenance to his wife for life? Well, Kate, it's to, really, I think you have to assess circumstance. Mm. You know, the different types of marriages. But if a wife has been in a marriage since, you know, they were young, they bought a house together, she's been in the background, she's been providing the nest, the comfort, so that that man can go off, make his money, make a success, you know, by the time they've got park gates, a couple of cars in the garage, um, you know, to then, Men, when they get older and richer, are very attractive, especially to younger women. And we have had, because life has changed, we have had an influx of very attractive young women coming into our country. And they're whisking off these supermen. And, um, and maybe they only last for two or three years, because then it's a bit like having a new handbag. They, they want to change it for a new model. So, then you've got the, the, her indoors, the wife at home, who's brought up the family. She's provided the mm. comfort, the social life, you know, in the bedroom. She needs to keep up appearances, etc. But This is then, quite a vision you're giving <laughs> us of the way life works then, between couples. There she is. She's, she's done her bit. You know, okay. we women she deserves provide... That support. She okay. deserves the support to carry on, otherwise she's it left seems by fair herself. Enough. Marilyn, I, 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 uh, you sort of... Uh, enjoyed uh, Liz's explanation then, as, as did we all. But the essence of the, what she's saying is when you've had that support for a very long time and you've allowed a husband's career to go and flourish and then for one reason or another the relationship ends, that actually there is something that needs to come back to the wife in that sort of situation. The divorce law goes back to 1973 and it was enacted at a time when we had sort of like a nuclear family of two plus two. Arguably that no longer exists for many people now. And we have to move with the times. So what, more women people are living aren't at together, home making sure more, the man shirts are ironed and providing that. More there. women go out to work. More women can go out to work. Women are more self-sufficient. They are more self-reliant. And I actually think it's time for an overhaul, not of just financial law, but also divorce law generally and cohabitation, because society has changed. Now, the type of woman that you're talking about is a dying breed, you know, because now courts do expect women to go out to work. And in fact, it's a factor in law at the moment that the court takes into account an income that she should be reasonably expected to earn. It works both ways, though, because more women now are actually earning more than their spouse. So uh, they, too, can find themselves on the end of a, a substantial maintenance hit. So. I think actually now, from 1973 to, to date, mm. it's time for a radical overhaul of all our divorce laws. Mm. Look at cohabitation, look at the fact that we can't get an immediate divorce without mm. finding fault, make it more civilised and have a, an informed debate about the extent to which maintenance should play a part in the future law. We had lots of people get in touch, Liz. Mm. Uh, Raymond's come in touch and said, I was cheated on by my ex because we weren't married, I've got to pay, so she's playing happily families and left me, left me in a financial mess. Uh, and the frustration for Raymond, of course, is that he, he for no fault of his own, according to the message that he sent us, he is still having to pay uh, spousal support for somebody that actually caused the rift in the first but place. did you say he was cohabiting or married? Yeah, I that's what he said. But so it can happen. Well, hang on a minute, because with this particular judge, Munby, who wants to change the laws. Mm. I agree with quite a lot of what he's you say. He's the president of the family but division. He so may be, He does know what he's talking about. Yeah, maybe, but uh, he's given an opinion. Mm. Um, it, it, this person's cohabiting. I'm a believer in marriage. Yeah. One of the reasons I'm a believer in marriage is because it cements the deal. Cohabiting... Well, I think there are, to be fair, let's not get that, sidetracked okay, by that, okay, because okay. there are people who say they're married in the same position, and I think that's part of the problem, isn't it? That people don't realise that, in a sense, the law doesn't actually provide for who did the wrong.
So people look at that and they think, oh my goodness, he's gone off what you described with a younger woman, left the woman there, she's worked hard for decades, she should be provided. But what of course happens a lot now is the men are like, well, hang on a minute, she's left me, she's now moved on with her life, and I'm paying for her. And I think that's where but it I can really hurt that people, does aren't they? I believe that um, in actual fact, that's what the judge is there for. That's what these brilliant divorce lawyers are working up the fairness of the deal and that's what the judge has to determine yes but the thing is that women should be encouraged to be self-reliant mm. I think it's therapeutic I think it's important to move on I think it's important to try and let go and to say well I'm in it here and now I've got to move on and how do I best move on but that's and all right if you have equality Mm. And, and we do have know, equality, well, actually. Well, no, that's that's the point. Point. that is a still working on, yes. getting equality We're still battling for that, moment. Liz. Unfortunately, we're yeah. battling for time as well, and we, we can't carry on. Much as we'd love to carry on listening to you. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Thank you, Liz, for joining us. And thank you for all your comments. Um, it's a really interesting debate, this, because lots of people lots of people feeling very, very, very passionate, sort of passionate about it because they find themselves in situations where they feel like they've been hard done by, particularly. Uh, thank you for all of that.